Okay, so I want to be careful about going in the right order and when to use these um, dots. So when it says only it breaks in the graph, that means that when the graph doesn't meet up at the same point. So I'm going to start just working left to right and it's going to be a line, um, a line on that ends on one side, so we call it a ray, and I'm gonna click on this ray button here, and it's less than or equal to negative one, so I'll go here's my endpoint, and a horizontal line at zero, so there's that piece. Okay, cool, and then um, x plus one is gonna be a line with slope one, y intercept one, and it's gonna start at um, negative one. So it looks like that line is gonna be going from slope one, and at x equals negative one, it's gonna be at zero. So it's actually gonna be a line segment that meets up with this one. So I'm gonna, instead of using these dots, I'm gonna to go to this little piece here and then click from here, line slope one, um, and then it goes from negative one up until one. So there's that line segment. Okay, and I still haven't used any of these dots because there's no break in the graph here. So this is the annoying thing. If you plot this solid dot on top, I think it's going to mark you wrong because it's, it's confused. It's not reading it right. So that is annoying. It is an annoying feature. Okay, now for the rightmost piece. I believe there is going to be a break in the graph because that, that should be a horizontal line that starts down here. So I'm going to go with should be an open dot. here and then it should be a ray that goes from here out okay and then I need to do a clear like endpoint here at this break and it should be a solid point here boom okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and click submit question and 10 out of 10 okay so just again to reiterate when it shows the little red dots, it's not plotting those as solid. You don't want to use a solid point feature here at the, at the join, or it'll mark you wrong by a trivial amount. So sorry for that inconvenience, but this is how we graph these piecewise functions. And feel free to ask me any questions if you're having uh, any other sort of issue, but that seems to be the most common complaint of all the online homework is specifically these kinds of piecewise questions. So hope this.